look at we're looking for playmakers probably like you guys are and we're trying to figure out who they are. Mm -hmm. Is John Davis pretty high on that that list? Definitely, definitely. I think he's one of those guys that creates some mismatches for people because he can be a, he can do a lot of things. He can be on the line tight end. He showed that last year. He can be in the backfield. He can be in a, in a detached position. He can play in the slot. So when you have a guy like that, he can do so many things that it, it's hard for a defense to be able to match up with him because he can line up in so many different places. So uh, we're excited about him. It's a lot on his plate, but you know we feel like he can handle it. Nathan was saying during the summer or last week that um, guys like John and Miles are, are football smart, so they can pick up a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's you know probably the accurate. I mean, not, not to say they're not smart in the classroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they, their grades are pretty good, but you know those guys can handle a little bit more than you know some people can. Some people are one one position guys and can't move, and then there's some people that can handle movement and being in different spots. And we feel like those guys, Miles especially. I mean, he for not getting any reps at receiver or running back, he sits in my meetings and he goes straight from there to playing everywhere. So you know, um, you know, I couldn't say too many great things about him. He looked he, like he know, threw the ball well today, I thought. He, he's always thrown the ball well. I think it's a, it's really been a, he's been so underrated as a passer because I think people look at him and say, well, he's a great athlete. He can do a lot of things, but, but he can throw the ball now. I mean, he, he's got about as live as arm as we have on the team. That's what I thought. I, the rest of the morning, he snapped the ball in a good spiral. And that's how it's been all, you know, in the spring it was the same way. You know, the ball comes off his hands, it looks like a Big Ten quarterback. and. Uh, you know, people don't always see that. Mm -hmm. He's lost some weight. It seems like. Is yeah, he, that good or is that? Is I that think that's it? good. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you know we want him to be as trim and be able to to make some plays in space. Whether he's playing quarterback or in the slide or at running back, you know, we want him to be as, as as light as he can be to be able to make some people miss. For folks that like to talk about Shieldhouse and and O'Toole a lot, are, are they overlooking Miles? I think so. I think so. I think Miles can play. Um, you know, he's one of those guys. I didn't know much about him coming here, but then you watch him every day, and he's, he's mechanically he's he's fundamentally sound. He's like I said, he's probably got the livest arm out of all the guys. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I couldn't. You know, I feel really good because not you know, not many people can sit back and say they had three guys they wouldn't mind putting into a game. Mm -hmm. And when I when you know I can uh, legitimately say, hey, I would have no problem playing any three any of those three guys. So how do you how do you get to your third string quarterback? You hope. You hope you don't, but but, well, I know, in, but, in our, but is he really third string? You know, for us, I, you know, I kind of look at it as as you have a one, you know, and I think Nathan is the one, and then after that, you know, I think Riley is really good. I feel good putting him in the game, and then Miles is really good. I feel good putting him in the game. So, um, you know, I don't necessarily look at it as one of them guys being a three, as more as just you feel good about your, you know, two A and two B or. Whatever you want to call it. So you feel that. like you got a one in, 